ang misa po ng Huwebes Santo ng hapon ay tinatawag nating Mass of the Lord's Supper. Pero para sa marami sa atin, ang natatandaan natin sa Huwebes Santo ay ang paghuhugas ng paa. Sapagkat sa buong taon, ngayon lang po binabasa mula sa Ebanghelyo yung pangyayari na hinugasin ni Jesus ang paa ng mga alagad. Ngayong hapon, meron tayong mga bata na merong konting mental disability na hugasan ang paa. Sila ay kumakatawan sa ating pamayanan. Alam na natin ang nangyari, pero gusto ko kayong anyayahang pansinin ang isang phrase doon sa Ebanghelyo na kababasa lamang. And the Gospel said, The Lord removed His outer garments. Why did He remove His outer garments? It was not for practical reasons that it would be difficult to move with the outer garments, no. The removal of the outer garments was also symbolic because the outer garment symbolizes power. The outer garment symbolizes prejudice. The outer garment symbolizes prestige. The outer garment symbolizes our attractions, our ambitions, our addictions. So, when the Lord removed His outer garment, it was really a gesture of shedding off. Shedding off prejudice, prestige, power, addiction, attachments, shedding off all of these. And in shedding off, what is achieved? Humility. It is important that the Lord remove His outer garments because the first thing that we must learn from Him is not just service of washing one another's feet. Sa katunayan, marami sa atin gustong magpakain. Marami sa atin gustong magpainom. Marami sa atin gustong magbigay. Marami sa atin gustong magkawang gawa. Subalit, ang pagkakawang gawa, ang pagbibigay, ang paglilingkod, ay nagagamit natin para lalo tayo magmataas. Then we use our charity, then we use our education for our vain glory, for our ego massage. So the Lord asks us to remove our outer garments. And the removal of outer garments is a symbol of humility. Because when you are humble, prejudice also goes. When you're humble, prestige and ego also goes. When you are humble, you are left with only one reality, the image of God in you. Why is humility important? Because humility is the seedbed of unity. And dami dami ngayong nagsasabi, magkaisa tayo. Solusyon sa COVID, magkaisa. Solusyon sa walang trabaho, magkaisa. Solusyon sa may sakit, magkaisa. Pero, bakit hindi na so-solve yung problema kahit gusto natin magkaisa? Kasi, yung ating pagkakaisa ay hindi nanggagaling sa kababaang loob. When unity does not come from humility, it will also self-destroy. Because unity that is based on money will be destroyed by money. Unity that is based on political power will be destroyed by political power itself. Unity that is based on our common prejudices will be destroyed by the same prejudice. Unity that is achieved by our common crimes, 
and sins and defects will be destroyed eventually by these same defects. Humility is important for unity because when the arrogant come together, that is not a unity, that is a syndicate for crime. We must come together to be united, but the seedbed of all unity should be humility, should be letting go of prejudice, should be letting go of prestige and power and addictions and attachments. When that happens, then unity becomes really our strength. Unity without humility is not a virtue. It is not a grace from the Lord. The starting point of everything must be humility, the removal of our outer garments. And what is the proof that unity is from God? The proof is those who are united serve. The proof is those who are united forget themselves and love others. The proof is when you are united, the lives of other people become better. The proof is when you are united, you are all willing to stoop down and wash one another's feet. These are the lessons of Holy Thursday that we need so badly in the Philippines right now. We need this in society, we need this in the church, we also need it in public service. Humility. St. Augustine was right. What are the three requirements for people to be able to go to heaven? He said, the first is humility, the second is humility, and the third is humility. Because humility is the seedbed of all unity. Humility is the seedbed of all virtues. Humility is the seedbed of holiness. The fathers of the church called humility the crown of all virtues. It is also the beginning of all virtues. And when people unite, recognizing that it is not our politics, it is not our business partnership, it is not our common enemy that unites us. What unites us? That we are called, that we are all children of God. That we are all created in the likeness of God. If we can only remember that all the time, then all will be well for us. Three words for all our Holy Thursday. Humility, remove your outer garments. What is God asking you to let go? What is your current addiction? What is your attachment? What is your obsession? You want to unite? Look at your friends. Is your friendship based on humility? Or is your friendship based on money? Or prestige? Or popularity? Or education? Or career? Or job? What makes you one? Ilocano, Pangasinense, Tagalog, Bisaya, Cebuano, Bicolano? Hanggang kailan? Ang lahat ng ito ay mawawala. At darating at darating ang panahon ang matitira lang sa atin. I am a child of God. And it is being a child of God that is our strength for unity. And if we are indeed children of God, our fruit is not more power. Our fruit is not more influence. Our fruit is we forget ourselves and serve others and make this world a better place. What is God asking you to remove? Who are your friends? What are your friends doing together to serve God and to serve others? We can wash infinite number of feet. But if there is no humility that brings the unity 
And there is no unity that yields to charity. Everything is coming to waste.